This episode is brought to you by the Financial Services School, specializing in educating insurance professionals. Continuing on our look through risk treatment options, today we're going to look at risk avoidance. Now, as the name would suggest, this is when you avoid a risk totally. Sounds easy, but how does this work in practice? Going to one extreme, let's say the risk you've identified and want to avoid is getting a speeding ticket. Your risk avoidance option may be to simply stop driving and catch the train. Let's say you're looking at picking up a new U-Butte contract to provide goods or services to a third party. Upon reading the contract, you may find the contract provided by the third party is transferring all the risk to you. Transfer being their risk treatment option, not an uncommon occurrence. Once you've assessed the risk and the cost associated with the other risk treatment options, you may simply find that the risk is too great and decide to walk away from the contract, avoiding the risk. As mentioned before, it's extremely important that you identify and assess the risk. This is to allow you to treat them correctly. Remember, there's no such thing as an untreated risk, only an unidentified one, as doing nothing is simply accepting it. This could cost you more than you can afford as well. For those interested, we'll put a link in the description for a free ebook on contract review, pointing out some things to look for before signing that contract. Click here for another video we did. Give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Comment with more stuff you want to know about. And for more demystified insurance jargon, click that subscribe button.